scientists. Welcome back to Science with Sky. Today we're going to learn about tornadoes. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> So what is a tornado? Tornado is a super strong spinning cloud that comes down and touches the ground. It looks like a big twisty funnel coming down from the clouds. Whoa, look at that tornado. What color is a tornado? Tornadoes can be all different colors. They can be gray like the clouds or white if it's snowing or brown if it picks up a lot of dirt and debris as it's spinning around super strong. Can you say all the different colors with me? Gray, brown, and white. Good job. What letter does tornado start with? Tornado. I think it's T. T, T, tornado. What else starts with T? Hmm. Tiger, ah! train, ah! a tree. Oh, look at that beautiful tree. Can you think of something else that starts with T? Shout it out, go ahead. Wow, that's right. You're such a smart little scientist. So where do tornadoes come from? How do they start in the sky? So what happens is, warm air rises and cold air sinks. And when that happens, it starts to spin. And when it spins, a tornado can form in the sky. And guess what? Tornadoes always spin. Some spin to the right and some spin to the left. Can you spin? Let's spin like tornadoes. <laughs> Oh, it's so fun spinning like a tornado, but I'm getting dizzy. Now it's time to see a tornado in action. I have my handy dandy tornado lamp where you can see a tornado close up. I'm gonna turn it on. The bottom rotor starts to spin and all the snowflakes are swirling around. The top is starting to spin and it's pulling the funnel down. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Look, we have a tornado. This one's spinning to the right. Look at all the beautiful lights in the lamp. Let's count to see how long it takes for the tornado to form. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Wow! In ten seconds, he pulled all the way down from the top down to the bottom of our tornado lamp. That was so cool. How fast are tornadoes? Tornadoes can spin up to 100 miles an hour. That's so speedy. Let's practice counting up to 10 to make our tornado spin faster. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten! Woo! Oh no, it's sucking me up! Oh, I'm dizzy again. If you ever hear that there's a real tornado outside, you have to get to somewhere safe. Go down into a basement or a room with no windows. Get down and cover your head and ask an adult what to do next. They'll keep you safe. 
Remember, tornadoes are very powerful and they spin so fast, but we know what to do to keep safe. And if you don't have a tornado lamp like I do at home, we can make our own. All you need is two water bottles, one with water, and we're gonna put oh, food coloring in it. I'm gonna do blue because blue is the best color. Whoa, look at that. Then you take this bottle and wrap tape around the top to stick them together. You might need a grown-up to help you with this. It's a little bit tricky. All right. Now you flip it over and swirl it so hard. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that tornado? That was so cool. Gotta swirl it really hard. Are you swirling your tornadoes at home too? What's it look like? Does it look like a tornado? That's so cool. Keep trying, it's a little bit tricky. Whoa. Look at our tornadoes. That's amazing. Wow, little scientists. Today we learned so much about tornadoes. We learned the letter of the day is T for tornado, and so many other words start with T. We learned about tornado colors, gray, brown, or white. We got to watch my tornado lamp form a tornado, and we got to make our own tornado in a bottle. It was so fun, and I hope you had fun too. Be sure to like and subscribe for more experiments with Sky. We can have so much fun learning about all of the things about the world in science. But for now, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh no, is the tornado coming? It's gonna suck me up. Hi, little scientists. Welcome back to Science with Sky. Today we're gonna learn about volcanoes. So what is a volcano? A volcano is a mountain that sometimes shoots out and erupts. Ash, lava, and smoke from deep inside the Earth's core. Look at this eruption. Whoa, did you see that? That was awesome. Did you see all the different colors of the lava? Did you know lava can be different colors? It can be red, yellow, and orange. Can you say the colors with me? Red, orange, and yellow. Good job. The word volcano starts with the letter V. V, V, volcano. What else starts with the letter V? Volcanoes, violins, mm, beautiful music, vegetables, Ooh, yummy broccoli. Mm. Vulture? Wow, those are some big birds. Can you think of another word that starts with V? Shout it out. Wow, that's right. Way to go. You're so smart. Okay, so today we're gonna make our own volcano. We need, I have an Erlenmeyer flask that has baking soda in the bottom of it, but you can use anything that has a smaller top for it to erupt over like a volcano. And I also have vinegar. I put some food coloring in here. Do you remember our three different colors of magma? We have red, orange, and yellow. I wanna make mine orange, but I don't have any orange food coloring. But I know if I mix red and yellow, it'll make orange. All right, are you ready to do the eruption? Count down with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! Whoa! 
We had some technical difficulties. <laughs> Make sure your dish is big enough to catch all the volcano. But why do volcanoes erupt? Let's find out. Inside the earth, there's something called magma. Really, really hot melted rock. Look at that. It looks so hot. It stays deep underground, under, in the Earth's core. But sometimes it pushes up through the Earth. Then it becomes lava. When the magma reaches the top, it erupts into lava. That's what we just saw in our volcano experiment. Once the lava erupts and cools back down, it turns back into rock. And that's how volcanoes get bigger and bigger and bigger over time. But not all volcanoes are cone-shaped. There are different types of volcanoes. Some explode with big eruptions, like that, while others just let lava slowly ooze out of it, like that. Some volcanoes are sleepy. Mm, they haven't erupted for a very long time. They're so sleepy and tired. And then all of a sudden, boom, they erupt. Can you pretend to be an erupting volcano with me? Ready? Get down. Bah! Eruption. Wow, you guys are great little volcanoes. Wow, little scientists. We learned so much today. Thank you for coming on this journey with me to do science experiments with volcanoes and learn more about where lava comes from and how volcanoes are formed. We got to do colors and counting. I hope you had so much fun and I hope you like and subscribe so you can come on more adventures with me and do science experiments and become little scientists together. Bye, I'll see you next time. Bye, bye. Oh no, the lava's coming. Woo! Hi, little scientists. Welcome back to Science with Sky where we learn about the world and have so much fun. Today we're gonna to be learning about something really loud and powerful. Do you know what it is? Take a guess. That's right, it's monster trucks! Monster trucks. Today I have with me our Hot Wheels Bone Shaker monster truck. Whoa, he looks so cool. These giant trucks aren't just cool, they're full of science too. Are you ready to learn? Let's go. Come on, it's time to play. So, what is a monster truck? A monster truck is a special vehicle that's designed to do amazing stunts, like jumping over rows of cars. Whoa or smashing things in arenas. Let's check that out. Whoa. Monster trucks have giant tires. Tires that are as tall as me and taller than you. They have a super strong suspension to bounce and not break when they land from their jump. And a powerful engine that makes them roar like a lion. You wanna listen to some monster truck engines roar? Let's go. Here, a smaller bone shaker and one of our monster truck launchers. You think we can launch him? One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> Let's see if we can launch him soft. Ready? One, two, three. Did you see him land? Land on his suspension? Let's check out some other videos of monster trucks jumping so high and landing on their suspension. On this course, let's see. Top the hook. Top the hook. Oh my God, no way! Scott! It still goes! Ha. No, it's just, there's no Did way! See how he was up there forever! I didn't think he was coming! Here comes our big bone crusher to drive over and smash these other monster trucks. 
Oh no! Let's see if he can do it. Whoa! Whoa! He smashed him. Let's check out a real video of a monster truck smashing some cars. I have Blaze with me today. You want to launch Blaze? Let's put him in our launcher. And on the count of three, let's say, let's Blaze. Ready? One, two, three. Let's Blaze! I also have my mini monster trucks with me today, too. I have little Max D and little El Toro Loco in a little launcher. It looks like the launcher has different levels. Depending on how high you angle the ramp, he'll jump lower or higher. Let's try it. Let's do El Toro Loco on the lowest ramp, the lowest angle. One, two, three. Okay, now let's try it on the highest angle. Whoa, he's gonna go straight up in the air. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa, do you see how high he went the second time? That's so cool. Let's try it with Max D. And we're gonna put it on the lowest level and launch him in. One, two, three. Hey, he kinda went straight out, right? Let's put it on the highest level. Make him launch so high up in the air. One, two, three. Whoa! That's so cool. There's so much science about ramps, too. Monster truck tires are huge. They're about 66 inches tall, which is over six feet tall. Probably taller than your mommy and your daddy. And they also weigh over 800 pounds each. Why are they so big? It's all about surface area and balance. The large tires spread the truck's weight over a larger area so they don't sink into the dirt. They also help the trucks drive over obstacles and even smash things like cars. When the tires hit the ground, they squish like a marshmallow. That squish helps absorb the energy so the truck doesn't bounce too hard and flip over. That's called shock absorption. Okay, little scientist, it's time for the coolest part. The engine science. Monster trucks have engines with over 1,500 horsepower. That's like having the power of 10 cars in one. When the driver presses the gas, the engine burns fuel, which makes the tires spin really, really fast. And that's what lets monster trucks zoom and spin donuts and fly through the air. But wait. How does the monster truck fly without wings? Let's talk about ramps and gravity. When they drive up a ramp, the tires push on the ramp and the ramp pushes back, sending the truck up. That's Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. But once they're in the air, gravity pulls them back down. The driver has to carefully balance speed and angle to land safely. I hope you had fun today. I know I did have so much fun playing with our awesome monster trucks and learning all about the science of monster trucks. Don't forget to hit the like button if you had fun and subscribe to learn more about science of powerful engines in the world all around us. Whoa! Let's make him do a backflip. Whoa! See you later!